Hello guys, Thorin Chris here, and we are starting to boot up our new series of the entire Assassin's Creed series. Uh, during the Steam Summer Sale, I managed to snag the entire series for a good price of $47, so it's pretty, I hear it's amazing, so let's be amazed. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Assassin's Creed 3 yet, it's not out as a date of recording, and I currently don't have the money to buy it, but... We'll see how that goes on late goes later on. A Ubisoft Prince, a Ubisoft Montreal production. Go Canada. Inspired by historical events and characters. The work of fiction was designed and developed by and produced by a multicultural team of various religious faiths and beliefs. Ooh. Pretty little city here. Looks like somebody just got hung. Or two somebodies. There's an eagle. Skating the obvious much, and is this our assassin guy? Uh, I have not even seen any gameplay footage of Assassin's Creed 1. I've only ever seen footage of... Uh, I've seen a bit of 2, or... I don't know. The only one I've, I think I've actually seen a lot, any uh, sizable amount of footage of is, of is Revelations, so... Just going along for a little ride here, I don't even know much about the series as a whole, really. All I know is you do awesome parkour and assassinate people. The, the parkour is really what gets me, though. I mean, from what I saw, it's amazing. And those bats, they- Oh, they killed three people! And, uh, let me see. This guy, I'm pretty sure his name is Altair. I may be wrong. God, the music's really loud. I'm gonna have to change that once we get to the off the screen. Oh yeah, here come... Uh, I, I'm not sure really. They look kinda like they, they'd be what Templars would be in my mind. But they didn't seem to hurt Mr. Assassin. Assassin's Creed. And we're loading. Ah, I, for some reason, it doesn't seem to accept the gamepad on the menu. A little bit annoying. Let's start up a new game. Loading. I really know nothing about this game. Uh, you're an assassin, and it's like Matrix style, and like you're living out your past incarnations or something like that. But that's pretty much all I know. All right, can we control? I applied my heart to no wisdom and to no madness and folly. Yeah, control is not working. Why isn't this working? If I do that, will that fix it? Oh, is, is it working? I really do not know why this is working. Ah, uh, I'm gonna just cut here and I'll come back when I get this stored out. Alright guys, we're finally working with the controller. I am s uh, well, I guess I'm not really sorry because you guys didn't have to go through all that horrible troubleshooting. So I'm not sorry guys, God! I just have to fix my controller, do all this crap, restart my computer, do been like 20 minutes in Google. And all along, it was just cause the USB drive was glitching out. But uh, that's all fixed now, so we're good to go. And we're walking, and there are uh, I my around to no us. Wisdom, and to no madness and folly. Uh, I perceive that this also was a chasing after wind. Please. Very much wisdom is not green. 
That means we're losing ourselves. Yeah, we are. And uh, just a second. The volume's way too loud. that when I'm in games, when I'm let's playing. I'm alright then. I guess you can't do that. Or I guess it's a bit more bearable, but I'm still, I still feel like I'm talking over the game. Alright, We're going to try and bring you out. They just saved me. That's a good thing. I was just testing my making sure oh god. Loud much. I hope the rest of the game won't be like so in your face loud. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now now, I just saved your life. Did save you my did life? you save my life? You huh? kidnapped huh? me! You strapped me into that thing! Animus. It's an animus. animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? Desmond Miles. I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We a know who you like are, us. what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. McCoy? You're an Dr. assassin. McCoy. Star Trek? And whether you realize it or not, You've got something that my employers want, locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most oh, fortunate So wait, for Desmond us. actually was what do you want an assassin me? at one point? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, the more you'll be free you to go. Know. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? I pick live. Lie down. Press any button to interact. A wise decision. That's right, trigger buttons. Oh, so here we are inside the animus. Where am I? You're inside Memory the animus. Nine. Which is it's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory? Mr. Miles. What is a memory, it's the Miles? Recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, cool. reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. 
Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Oh, well, I guess Whatever that would make sense. I mean, instinct remains. is technically memory, I These guess. Creatures hold Where else does that instinct come the from? Requisite first -hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try oh, and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. I hope I'm still recording this. My screen is glitching out right now. pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't <sighs> jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be I'm problems. I'm sorry. There's any so how do we right fix now. it? Uh, yes, how does we fix it? You're just kind of being silent now, guys. You we I find a memory control. you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. We'll I still have it. a bit of control. It's kind this of trippy right now. This is get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. And I'm gonna have to pause just so that I can get back into full screen. Alright, I would like to pause. I would like to do a little pausing. What? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to live with this for now. Which is annoying. I don't really. Oh, Hello, next time I get a chance, 17. I'll quit out and has fix been prepared it. In order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system, instructions will follow shortly. That sounded kind of weird. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently mm. dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. It seems pretty intuitive, it's just like the directions still, on the D-pad. The, the head button. Okay, I see the people. Good. Um, yeah, I've been collecting that the entire time. Empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Okay, Proceed just walk to this. the marker to continue the synchronization process. Oh, I guess not. I totally failed that. I... Yeah, failure. That worked better this time. For some reason, it was like punching them, well done. or well, shoving them completely. Not punching them because they would probably be dead. The that animus differentiates between two fundamental actions: low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering. That's inputs. pretty cool. Excellent. Hey, what is it? Not normal for people to jump? God. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. High profile Grab and throw the individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. Does that count? Yep, that counts. Just eat. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, 
Be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. That's kind of a weird thing. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Uh, okay, that seems pretty easy, I guess. This is a tutorial after all, I guess. Oh, he's running too. Whoa, did I actually just lose in the tutorial? I well win. done. The animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. Exposed the different down states will be anonymous. explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, well, you will different stealth things. assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Press now, select your hidden blade. Oh, weapons! With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. I want to assassinate him from behind because I think it will look cooler. <laughs> And it freezes. Well, that's just brilliant. I heard about that happening. That's kind of annoying. It freezes for a few seconds after you assassinate somebody on the PC. Who did this? Oh, the god did, mister. That was a weird, echoey voice coming from that man right there. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to inform and as represented to provoke the soldier by the witness indicator. Or jumping, Aggressive or actions jumping like or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at is this jumping time really socially unacceptable. Provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Okay. He's an assassin. Oh yes, I jumped. I'm an assassin. Kill me. Notice another how freeze. the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Okay. Just kill this bastard. Uh, I, I shouldn't be swimming like this. You can't get away from me. Where are you? Excellent. Wow, they're dumb. The line of sight has been broken. Now run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. All right, into the roof garden, and here we go, freezing again. God, this is annoying. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes Can again. Can I please just assassinate him? Please! The hell with this. I have better things to do. Oh, you're lazy. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. And again, he really you has no reason to be at me. And you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Uh, good to freeze when I leave. Hope you won't see any more freezing. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. Mm. There are different places pretty good, which pretty you good. can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Okay. Thank you. Continue with a demonstration of blend. I am blending can be it. activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Yeah, hello people. I'm just praying, just praying. I'm you know, just going on, don't mind me. Good. That was really easy. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Mm. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions so of people around So, can I only do you. that when I'm fully synced? Well done. Uh, so 
assassination target. Head soldiers, blue allies. Cool, cool. Remember, eagle vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Okay, so yeah, only when you're Please synced. note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestors' way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by respecting the creed. So you have successfully I completed the tutorial. I just get synced for the most stable memory being me. will now be loaded. Thank you.